Hey, I'm Lucas. I'm going to bring you another Morse Minute Tech Tip. So we're going to talk about V-blocks, their proper usage, and why they're important. You can see on both of our diagrams, we're cutting two inch by two inch by quarter inch wall square tubing. Same stuff we're going to be cutting in the cut lab here in a second. But I want to show you proper V-block usage and improper V-block usage. The big takeaway here is that we have equal cross sections, but we're going to have unequal cut times. Reason being, we have two quarter inch sections, one here, and one here on the proper side and three different sections on the improper side. You've got to come in to a two inch section, two quarter inch sections, and then another two inch section here at the bottom. Those are going to give, they're the same cross section, but they're going to give you two different cut times because of the way that your blade comes into the workpiece. Two other takeaways here is that if you use these properly with plate, you can get better capacity out of your chop saw. We'll show you that in the cut lab. And when cutting round objects, using these properly will give you four points of contact, one, two, three, four, instead of just two points of contact, one, two. So we'll take it down to the cut lab, show you guys uh, how this works in the real world. So here's some proper V-block usage. You can see that we've got one, two, three, four points of contact on this two inch round. And here is what improper V-block usage would look like. Now you can see you've only got one, two points of contact. This workpiece is gonna be more prone to slippage. And if it slips, it's gonna rip a bunch of teeth off your saw blade. So we see here another good usage of the V-blocks. We've got the rear one removed, so that way we can fit this piece of six inch by quarter inch plate in here at an angle. What that's gonna do is minimize our cross section that we're going through, because if we had this flat, we'd be going through this whole six inch section all at once, and that would be much slower than going through this small section. Uh, another thing I'd like to note that we're maximizing our capacity. This won't fit if you have both, both V-blocks removed, but if you put it in at an angle, we can get the whole cut capacity and really maximize the size of pieces that we can fit in this saw. So here we have good V-block usage. We're minimizing our cross section, holding it in that diamond shape with four points of contact. Go ahead and make a cut for us, Critchy. about a seven or eight second cut. Uh, Critchy, why don't you put it in there flat? Do it the wrong way and we'll see how much longer it takes. So that was about a 13 or a 14 second cut. So you can really see how much longer it takes just holding your workpiece the wrong way. So that was your Morse Minute Tech Tip. Thanks for watching.